Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you the resolution per vaginum of an equine obstructive dystochia. The owners of this animal gave me permission to use video footage for teaching purposes. Here you can see a very nervous mare restrained in a crush. The problem is fairly obvious. I've thoroughly scrubbed my hands and forearms up to the shoulders. A tail bandage has been applied to the mare and her perineum has been meticulously cleaned using soap and water. I put a lot of freshly prepared methyl cellulose and chlorhexidine lubricant on my hands and arms as I commenced my vaginal exam. I want to determine how the foal's legs are lying since they are what's keeping it from coming out. This is going to be a very tricky one. The mare is very nervous and is battling to stay standing. There may well be some pressure on her obturator nerves. We prepare to take her to anesthesia. As you can see, she's very unstable on her hindquarters. Trying to manipulate that fetus while she stood in a crush was definitely not a good idea. We took her to an induction room, but it takes an army of people to walk her down the passage. The idea is that we anaesthetize the mare and put her on a soft surface. This will give us more control over the situation. We induce anesthesia with Valium and Ketamine, and as she goes down we keep her wedged against the padded wall to prevent her from falling and hurting herself. The anaesthetist will place an endotracheal tube or an ET tube so that she can be ventilated with oxygen and isoflurane. Then we'll attach shackles to her feet and winch her up onto a big mattress. If we do this it lets me work much more easily than if she were lying on the floor. We move her gently over the mattress and lower the winch. Again, we make sure that her perineum is spotlessly clean. I wash my hands again, so do all my helpers. With another big dose of lubricant, I try and see if I can get the foal into a position to come out more easily. After a few minutes of struggling, I decide that it would be best for the mare if we cut the fetus using the feeder tone. My assistants assemble the feeder tone while making sure that it stays clean. I pass the feeder tone wire around the head of the fetus and around its front legs. I want to remove the entire forequarter of the fetus so that I can turn it around by retropulsing the hindquarters while at the same time pulling on the hind legs. I'm going to make my cut transversely through the abdomen and the lumbar spine of the fetus. It really takes quite a while to set your cut up properly. You must always resist the temptation to be in too much of a hurry and just YOLO in and start chopping away. Usually this will result in you cutting through the wrong part of the fetus or whilst damaging the uterus which is often fatal for the mare. Where's so much? You know what that's going to do? Over the ribs. No, I don't. It's far far forward already. Can you take a little bit more space for me? A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. It should be quite an easy cut. Okay, you feel? Uh, not yet. 
Mostar. Okay, not sure yet. Carry on. Put a bit of traction on it. Yeah, there you go. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's take it away. Now, obviously, I need to remove the hindquarters of the fetus. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, so it's can't, can't do any harm. Yeah, it's not going to do any harm. No. She's going to do that easier. Will you need the other change it? Yeah, yeah, please. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Hello? So now you're grabbing the hind legs and you're going to push the rest back. Yeah, the, while simultaneously pulling. Yeah. 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 Just turn around there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, pull, pull this, this chain, this one here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Lock it down nicely. Okay. Pinches. Okay. Uh, hang on. On your left, let's go. Yeah, okay. You guys pull. It's coming. Nice. Okay. Alright, good, pull. Cool. Oh, here we go. And some meconium. Okay, you can stop. I can tell them it's out, eh? Yeah. The next step before cleaning up is to double check that there isn't a twin, which is much more important than cattle, obviously, and to double check that there's no damage to the uterus. In horses, it's important to leave the fetal membranes just as they are. Once the mare is recovered safely from anaesthetic, the uterus is flushed with copious quantities of fluid to ensure that no remnants of the fetus or the meconium remain inside her and to help with detachment of fetal membranes. You can also use oxytocin to hasten fetal membrane detachment and encourage involution.